All right, guys, in the last video, we made it so that we could actually add tasks and they get added to the list. Now what I want to do is make it so that we can remove them by clicking these X's. All right, so we need another event listener. Now each of these are, they have a class of delete item. And since there's multiple of them, and also since they're dynamic, meaning we, we can add more, we need to use event delegation here. So we're going to actually put the event listener onto the task list itself, onto the UL. So let's go into load event listeners. And let's say remove task event. And we'll say task list dot add event listener. I'm going to listen for a click. And then we're going to call remove task. Okay, we'll go down here and we'll say function oh, forgot the name function remove task all right and let's see this remove task is going to take in an event parameter and then remember we need to target this here because right now if I say console.log uh, let's actually say e dot target and save um, let's add some tasks okay so if I click anywhere inside the this UL then this is getting called right here um, so what we want to do is we want to target the delete item right here. So let's actually, yeah, let's let's wrap this in an if statement. Oops. So we'll go ahead and oops, wrap this, and we're going to say if e dot target. Now we want remember the target we want to get the link okay uh, now when I click on this it's going to give us the icon so actually I, I push, probably should have showed you that let me just show you that real quick so if I put something in here I click on the X it gives us the li actually Okay, there we go. It gives us the I tag. I wasn't actually clicking on it before. So it gives us the I tag and we want to get that's not what we want. If we look at the HTML, well, we can't look at it there. If we look at it here, it gives us the I tag, but we want the A tag. Okay, uh, let's see, where is it? So if we look in here, look in the A tag. So we're getting this, but we want this, which is its parent. Okay, so we want to call if target dot parent element. And then we want to see if it, it contains the class delete item. So we're going to say dot contains, um, I'm sorry, class list dot contains and we want to check for the class of delete dash item. OK, so if it contains that, then let's do the console log. So we'll save, put something in here. Now, if I click, let's open up our console. If I click just over here, nothing happens. If I click on the X, then we get the console log of the target. So what do we want to happen when we click here? We want this to remove. But we don't want the the this to remove the icon or the a tag. We want the whole li to remove, which is the parent of the parent. Okay, if we're clicking on the icon, the parent is the a tag, right? And then the parent of that is the actual li. So what we need to do here is say e dot target dot parent element dot parent element brings us to the li, and then call remove. All right, so now if we add something here and I click the, the X, it goes away, okay, which is what we want. 
All right, now I do want to have a confirmation, so I'm just going to wrap this right here. Let's just wrap this in a confirm and we'll say, are you sure? Okay, so now if we add something and we click the X, are you sure? Okay, and it goes away. All right, so we can now remove our tasks. Now let's do the um, the clear task button. Okay, so if we have a bunch of tasks, we want to be able to click clear task and have them all go away. So we're going to need another event listener for this. Let's go up above to load event listeners and let's say clear task event. So we're going to take that clear BTN that we defined and call add event listener click and then it's going to call clear tasks all right we'll go down here we'll create the function okay all right now in clear tasks there's actually two different things we can do. So first of all, we could do task list dot inner HTML equals nothing. We could simply do that. So let's try it. Okay, we get three tasks in here. We click clear and it all goes away. So that's one way of doing it. Another way is we could actually loop through with a while loop and then remove each one. So we could do, and this is actually faster. So let me just put that in here. And I'm also gonna give you a link, let me paste in a link here that shows you the difference between these two. So this is inner HTML versus remove child. And if we go down here, so here's an example of what we just did, inner HTML equals nothing or we could just loop through and call remove child. All right, so let's let's do that. We'll say while uh, let's see while task list dot first child. So remember first child is going to get the first child of the task list. So we're saying while there still is a first child, meaning is there is still something in the list then we want to say task list dot remove child. Okay, so remove the li of the task list and we want to pass in task list dot first child. Okay, we want to remove the first child if there still is one. So let's save that and that should work the same way. So we'll add a couple here, click clear task and they all go away. All right, so it's up to you what you want to use, but you can see right here, um, inner HTML is the blue, remove child is the red. And if we go down to the bottom, uh, you can see higher is better, and it gives you the time that it takes in each version of Chrome. So this way is actually faster, but not by much. You're not gonna really see a difference, but uh, it's up to you which one you want to use. I'd figure I'd, I'd mention both ways. All right, so the last thing I want to do in this video is be able to filter through the tasks. So we're going to add another event listener. And we'll say filter tasks event. And we're going to take that uh, filter, add an event listener. And this event is actually going to be a key up. So key up and we're going to call filter tasks. All right, so let's go down here and create that. So filter tasks. And let's see what we're going to do here is first of all, get the the whatever is being typed in here. So we're going to pass in our event parameter here. 
and then let's create a variable called text and we're going to set it to the e dot target dot value that'll give us whatever's being typed in um, if I were to console dot log text and save and then start typing you'll see that it's going to log it all right now I just want to make I want to turn it to lowercase so I'm going to say dot to lowercase like that just so no matter what even if I put on caps lock you'll see that it's going to be lowercase just so we, we can match it correctly all right now what we need to do is uh, we want to take all of the list items so we're going to say document dot query selector all okay make sure you use all and we want to get all the list items which have a class of collection dash item and we want to loop through those okay and we're going to use a for each loop here okay now we can use a for each because remember query selector all returns a node list if we use like um, uh, get element by classes or elements by class that would return an HTML collection which we would have to convert to an array in order to use for each but query selector returns a node list so we can use this so let's pass in a function here and inside here we'll just say task as our iterator and then we're gonna set a variable called item set it to task dot first child and then we want the text content of that first child okay and we're gonna check we're gonna do an if statement here and if else and we're gonna say if item and I'm gonna change it to lowercase because that's what we did with the search value so to lowercase and then we want to call index of and then pass in the text okay so the text that's being typed we want to search we want to pass into index of now if there's no match it's going to equal negative one so we want to say if it's not equal to negative one then we want that task to show so we'll say task dot style dot display and we'll set that equal to block so that it shows else that means that there's no match so we want to hide it so we're going to set the display property to none all right so now let's save that and we'll just add in some stuff here we'll say task uh, one task two task three and then let's start to type here so if I just put an R in here you'll see it's gonna match anything that's in the in the, the text so there is an R in task 3 there isn't in task 1 or task 2 so if I start to type the word task it matches everything space matches everything I put a T that only mass matches task 2 and task 3 if I put a W that only matches task 2 alright so we can now filter through our tasks all right, so everything in the UI is now done. We can add them, we can delete them, we can filter through them, and we can clear them. Okay, so what I want to do in the next video is I want to persist the task to local storage so that the application actually stays in, in the same state even if we reload the page or leave and come back. All right, so that's what we'll do next.